this video, I'll be talking about uh, coding. So this is basically the second part. Particularly, I'll be dealing with changing interval or ratio data into ordinal form. And uh, in this example, we'll, we have here grid and etect. And we are to convert this using the following. So we'll use 1 as a code if the grid is 75 to 79. 2 if the grade is 80 to 84, 3 if the grade is 85 to 89, and 4 if the grade is 90 and above. So this is basically used if uh, the statistical test you identified may, may not be fitting with the requirement for your uh, test statistic. So let's try converting this by first inserting a dummy column. And then I'll put this as a guide somewhere on top. So this will serve as my guide. If the grade is 98, the value will be 4. So in this case, I'll just be making use of the nested if function. So I'll use if, open parenthesis, I'll click the first value here. And then use greater than, equal. And then I'll be choosing the highest value from the lower limit so this is 90 and above so I'll choose 90 comma and the code so 4 and then comma and then I'll use if again open parenthesis so click on 98 once again so the value here so that's e2 greater than equal to so the next lower boundary so that's our lower limit rather so that's 85 comma so its code is 3 comma again so i'll use another if open parenthesis so once again e2 is my cell reference greater than equal to so the next lower limit and that is 80 comma its corresponding code 2 and since I do not have any other options left, I just have to put in here comma and the last code, which is what. So I have three open parentheses here, so I'll have three closed parentheses. And press enter. So 98 now is coded as 4. So once again, if you look at the formula here for the if or the nested if, I have three ifs for a condition having four conditions so our four brackets so after this i just have to copy this Control c highlight everything and paste Control v so i have here now my coded value for the grades so i'll copy all this and paste this over the original values as values and once i'm done with that i just have or i may delete now my dummy column that's how we do it for the gradient etec let's do it for our indicators here so i have here 2.1 to 2.e i have five indicators meaning that I have to get their average and ultimately recode them using this particular coding guide so I'll be inserting this time I'll be inserting two columns so I'll just have to set a different fill color here so that I'll be guided and for this one also, I'll be inserting two columns and change the color for my guide. So basically, I have here the mean and its equivalent. Mean and equivalent. For the mean, I will just be using the simple formula is equal to average open parenthesis and then I'll highlight the five indicators here so the first value down to the last value for the first row 
I'll highlight and then press enter and then I just copy this once again to copy this fast I may point my mouse pointer at the lower right that small box here if the cursor turns to black cross I could simply just double click to copy my formula and for the equivalent so I'll put this somewhere on top as my guide I'll change the color first or I'll have a separate background color so that it will be visible there so I'll use once again the nested if so if and this is the first value so the reference is k2 so you just have to take note of that greater than equal to the highest lower limit so that's 3.26 comma its code its code is 4 comma another if open parenthesis i have k2 greater than equal so the next value here is 2.51 comma its code which is 3 another comma another if open parenthesis once again my reference is k2 greater than equal to the next lower value here is 1.76 comma its code which is 2 and then since we're down to the last one comma the last value which is 1 and then 3 close parenthesis and then press enter so you have here the equivalent value and then I, I will be pointing at the fill handle and then double this double click that to copy since I have here the formulas I just copy here I, I just copy this since both have 2.1 and 2.2 have five indicators each so I may just copy and paste the values here for my 2.2 a to e so what's the use of this so if I am to do a non-parametric test if I'm doing a parametric test I could actually just make use of the mean scores and use this in either Excel or SPSS in deriving the needed value or performing parametric test statistics like Pearson R, paired samples t-test, independent samples t-test, one way or another. But if my data won't be again normally distributed, so instead of making use of these mean scores, I'll be making use of these converted values. So I'll use these values for my test. So that's basically the use of this coding approach. So that's it for the second part of coding. And I hope you got uh, those formulas, particularly how to use nested if.